Are artificial sweeteners healthy? Are they good for you or not? Should you use them when you're trying to lose weight? Do they actually cause cancer? All of these questions that you probably either have or have heard people talk about, you know, when it comes to artificial sweeteners, is there any truth to that? If so, what is it? If not, which part of these are myths? All that we're gonna cover in today's video. But before we go there, click the subscribe button below because on this channel, you're gonna learn how to build a strong, healthy, high-performing body as a successful entrepreneur without all the BS, like starting yourself doing 15 hours of cardio, you know, cutting out carbs or your favorite foods. You can absolutely have the perfect body without any of that. So click that subscribe button and let's go. What's up everyone? This is Coach Amir from sevenfigurebody.com and in today's video, artificial sweeteners. Are they healthy? Do they cause cancer? You know, are they bad for you? Are they gonna destroy your stomach and you're gonna have, you know, terrible, uh, you know, everything's gonna go bad from that. Let's actually take it, you know, one step at a time. So the first thing you probably heard, artificial sweeteners cause cancer. That's the probably the dumbest thing I've heard in a long time. Probably decades ago, some hippie, you know, invented it or just kind of literally like had this, uh, you know, they were probably high and they saw this, uh, you know, whatever vision, they're like, hey, you know, if you have some Splenda, you get cancer and die. Well, okay, let, let me bring, let me burst the bubble here and say, absolutely not. Uh, research, a ton of research has been done on this and never showed any causality or any links in between artificial sweeteners and cancer. No, it does not increase your risk of cancer, okay? Number two thing you've probably heard that artificial sweeteners are actually going to cause uh, sugar cravings to be even worse. So, you know, the idea behind it is whatever some genius, again, probably some hippie or vegan or whoever said hey you know what when you eat artificial sweeteners your taste buds are actually ready to receive some sugar and there is no sugar coming because they are calorie free right so you know we know artificial sweeteners or what is in research known as non-nutritive sweeteners simply means things that are sweet but they don't have calories okay so you know probably you've heard you know splenda sucralose you know uh, atosulfan, pot potassium, whatever things that, there's a bunch of things that fall into this group, but essentially things that are sweet and give your food or drinks sweetness without calories, okay? So do they cause cancer? No. Number two, uh, do they actually, you know, increase your cravings? Also, the answer is probably not for most people. Now, again, the, the reason I didn't just say don't, they don't, because I'm sure there's a person out there, remember, this is the internet, so there's gonna be a person saying, well, what do you know? Every time I had this, I had sugar cravings for days. Of course, there's gonna be a person saying that because that's just how it works. In reality, that's not how it works. In reality, actual research uh, showed million times over, this is not one study, this is dozens and dozens, probably hundreds of studies so far that showed that when people who are, you know, overweight, of bad health, usually they consume a lot of sweetened, so high calorie drinks. When they replace these or even part of that with uh, low or no calorie versions of the same drink, for example, you drink three cans of, uh, you know, Coca-Cola every day and now you go to Diet Coke, uh, guess what's happened? You just cut, you know, couple hundred calories from your normal intake, which means you're gonna lose weight, all of your health parameters will improve. And this is exactly what studies do show. When people start using non-nutritive sweeteners, basically artificial sweeteners, versus you know the, the high calorie one and high sugar one, uh, they basically lose a lot of weight or, the health, or all of their health parameters improve and all the other good things, you know, reduce all the risks of, uh, you know, all the diseases, metabolic syndrome, et cetera, et cetera. Lately though, in the last couple of months at the time of recording this video, there has been a really awesome, well done and well put together study on two things that have been the kind of the buzzword these days, which are how do artificial sweeteners affect number one, your gut microbiome. So is it really bad for your gut to consume uh, artificial sweeteners, number one? And number two, uh, is it gonna mess up your glucose control? So is your insulin and everything that has to do with your sugar control gonna go all out of whack when you have uh, artificial sweeteners. Now, previous studies on this have shown that the answer is no. They will not mess up your gut microbiome. They will not, you know, cr create any issues in your glucose control. N actually, there's going to be no uh, uh, effect, pretty much, uh, on any of those. However, there's been a study uh, that just came out uh, a few months, a few weeks ago, uh, and basically showed that any of these non-nutritive sweeteners are going to actually affect your gut microbiome in a way that there are going to be changes in it. Now, before we actually go, oh, you see, we knew it, artificial sweeteners are terrible and we should never use them. 
No, that should not be your conclusion, simply because got my microbiome in generally, that part of the human body is very, 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 let, let's say that we just don't understand it yet. Okay, nearly as much as we uh, probably will in, in the next couple of decades because it's extremely complex. And we also know the gut microbiome changes a lot uh, based on every single thing you do. So if you start eating different types of food, your gut microbiome will change uh, to adapt to that. If you basically do nothing, you know, just like, okay, I had three meals, now I have one meal, your microbiome changes. If I had, you know, more chicken and I'm having less chicken and more eggs, your microbiome will change. So it's a very, very volatile environment that changes a lot. So because of that, it is normal to expect that if you uh, take somebody who did not use any nutritive, uh, non-nutritive sweeteners, so no artificial sweeteners, now they start taking them, there will be a corresponding change in your gut microbiome. So, and that's actually what was shown. The other two thing, it was, you know, some of these did affect a little bit the glucose control, but again, that was not clinically relevant. And the differences were very, very small going from, you know, like 6% to like 6.5%, whatever, some change. It, again, very, very small amount, not really relevant for any uh, conclusions such as never use any artificial sweeteners. Okay, so even though this study did, this was by the way, the first study that actually showed that there are some changes, all the studies, meta-analysis, dozens and dozens of studies that were done before basically showed there is no effect negative health effect on art uh, basically of artificial sweeteners on your health unless you consume some extremely high amounts like you know 30 cans of some kind of you know soda every day then sure like of course first you're going to gain a ton of weight that's going to affect your health in a negative way downstream it's going to be a ton of you know basically negative health outcomes now in the normal consumption like let's say you have you know a, a can of coke or diet coke once or twice or three times a week that's absolutely not going to do anything bad don't worry about it now the main thing that I want to say, the main message here is, if somebody is drinking a ton of soda, like high calorie, like regular soda, which is a ton of sugar and a ton of calories, is it better for them to go from that to a lower calorie or no calorie version of that same drink? Absolutely, 100% yes. There are no exceptions to that rule that I know of, that I'm aware of in current research at this time. I can't, I just can't think of somebody where it's better to actually consume 200 calories, you know, of like pure sugar and water versus, uh, you know, zero calories of artificial sweetener uh, in, in that same water, right? So let's say Coke versus Diet Coke. I can't think of one way where it'd be better for somebody to consume the high calorie one. And you can, you know, extrapolate that to all other uh, versions of this. It can be foods that are high calorie, that are now lower calorie, whatever. But mainly this is for drinks, usually because, you know, most artificial sweeteners are usually in drinks. They're often in, in also in the um, uh, supplements like, like uh, you know, protein powders and such. Generally speaking, you have less calories, right? And usually less sugar. So how can that be, you know, any worse than actual high calorie, more sugar version? I can't think of it. So basically this is for whom the number one benefit of using artificial sweeteners would be. Somebody who's using a high calorie version, they go to no calorie or low calorie version of that, much better. On the other hand, does all this mean that artificial sweeteners are amazing and you should go from drinking regular water to drinking, you know, six, you know, liters or however many, you know, 200 ounces of Diet Coke a day, which again, this is the internet. So some genius out there is gonna be like, see, this coach is dumb, they don't know anything. They're saying that everybody should drink. No, that's not what I'm saying. If so, basically, if you want to consume some artificial sweeteners in your some kind of you know no calorie drink, occasionally that's totally fine. Probably going to be absolutely no issues whatsoever. On the other hand, is it better to not have them at all and just have water or tea or things that don't have you know calories? Absolutely, of course it is. For example, I don't drink um, any of the. Uh, how would I say? I try to not drink my calories other than protein shakes. So I don't use any of the Diet Cokes and things like that. I just, I don't find any of that to go along with what I want to do with my health and my body and performance and everything else. However, if I had a, a you know, like sugar craving for that, I would absolutely go for um, a no calorie version of that same drink. So Diet Coke versus, you know, like a full on calorie, uh, full high calorie, you know, regular Coke. I would absolutely go for Diet Coke, certainly. Uh, is it better to have water than that? Yes. But is it better to have no calorie than high calorie? Yes. So anyways, that's the point, guys. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please click the subscribe button below. And also let me know in the questions and comments below if you have any questions. What do you think 
about this you know whole idea of and, and story about artificial sweeteners what other questions you may have about it that i didn't mention because i'm sure there are some put them in the comments below uh like this video and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching cheers Thank you.